presenting our project, which is the Python, where we made a game with a custom controller. Okay, so we're going to first be talking about introduction, then our objectives, then the project design, project implementation, uh, project testing, and then lastly our conclusion. Okay, so for the introduction, right? Uh, our, our, our project was like originally inspired by a VG, VGA Arduino project where like we would utilize the Arduino VGA system to make a game but that required a lot more coding and like the, since we need to know how to uh, code in C and that's like a lot more complicated than just coding with Python so we kind of changed it up to use uh, Python and separate controller to control the game on Python instead. So for the objective of our project, so first is to be able to model design figures and for our figures is the controller in Shaper 3D program or we also can utilize a skill that we got in future 3D programming if you want to use it. And also to be able to learn the basic concepts of Python and also using Pygame to create a game. And lastly is to be able to build a simple game that can be utilized with 3D printed controllers. So I'll be presenting project design. So this is our block diagram. So when we start, there's an in button, and digitally the Arduino it will go to the controller, and then to the game. And then if we press quit, then it will end. And then when the snake moves, it will either oh the arrow is right here. Okay. So game after snake moves, if it detects after it eats the worm, it will grow, and then it will go back to the snake moves, and then. After it detects, if it's still in the free space, then it will go back to snake moves again. And then um, if it touches the wall or like the snake body itself, it will restart to the game. Uh, for equipment needed, we use USB cable for Arduino boards, Arduino board from the kitty joystick thing, and the tag buttons, which are six of them, and buttons. Jumper wires, which are 12, and hot glue gun, glue sticks, and 3D model printer, and 3D model filament. For software used, we use Python for programming, Sharp R 3D for 3D modeling, Adobe Illustrator for graphics, and for soundtrack, we use GarageBand. And programming language was Python. This is the modeling of the system, 3D view. This is our um, controller for the game. And then these holes are placed for the buttons to be in. And then it's So we split this um, body to two of them so that we can put in the wires and our Arduino board inside and then we can cover it with two of them. So for our project implementation, since our project is, there's also many parts that we have to work on. So I separated the project implementation into three parts, which is the first one is modeling the control itself, as you just saw in the previous slides, and building the game. And lastly is integrating a controller with the game. And also another thing is doing a soundtrack. So this is the modeling of the controller. So this is the first prototype. So as you may see that the first prototype we plan to do it in round buttons and we just put buttons on it. But since the buttons that we use is in a board and in a rectangle form which also contains an LED, so the final work turns out to be quite bigger than we thought in the initial project. So this is the final work and the final outcome of the controller. Okay. So next is building the game. So on the building the game process there is three subsections when doing it. So first is the graphic, coding, and then the soundtrack. So this is the graphic. So initially for the graphics, we wanted to kind of make it in a moody tone, a kind of a bluish tone. So the snake was referenced from a Malaysian coral snake, which we uh, have presented in the previous updates. And also this is the background. So these graphics are done in Adobe Illustrator. And for the coding of the game, so this is the main game loop and to separate the main game and from the main menu, we basically 
put the main game, the whole main game and the main menu into two big uh, function loop and then we can just call it later. So this is the main game loop. So for the main game loop, it is basically checking if we are quitting the game and also we in the class main function which is going to be shown in the next slide. So for the update, we just put the main class into a we declare a variable on it for it to be updated in the main game loop. And the next thing is we just check if what we are pressing down in the keyboard to be able to control this name up, right, down, and left. So this is the class name. So since the project is very hard on doing the code, so the part of the game is separated into snake, the fruit, and the main class. So this is the declaration of the snake in the class snake function. And this is the function to draw a snake. And this is the function for the program to update the graphics in correlation with the block of the snake where it's traveling. And this is the function to declare for the move snake. So basically how this works is that it's telling your program to move the block of a snake to the from the next one and for the previous one to move to the block where the uh, initi the initial is so that for example the head if it's traveling to the right when we press right the body will replace the head and the head will move forward and then the last block will be removed and this is the fruit the uh, functions for the fruit so the fruit we have to use the randomized function to be able to randomize the position of the fruit and also set a position for it. So this is the class main. So we basically have to declare both the snake and the fruit class into a variable so that it's easier to organize the code. And then the main thing in the class main is the update function for the, which we put in the main game loop for the game to be able to update on what they should do. So first is checking if how the snake is moving and then checking the collision of the snake with the fruit and then checking if the snake fails which uh, failing basically means that if the snake interlaps with its own body and the, the game will go into a game over state or if the snakes move and then it collides with the wall or the screen and then it also declares a game over state and then this is a function for basically the store that is displayed in the bottom right of the game And this is the main menu. So we were able to do a main menu for the game. And for the main menu, it's simply just first rendering the text and the graphics of the main, the thing that we want to put in the main menu. And then we let the program check if the mouse is hovering over each options of the main menu. For example, if it's hovering over the play button, so it changes colors. And if there is a click on that button, then the games bring up the and then to integrate the controller with the game, uh, we added a function which is the functions for the controller to update the joystick. So if this, if you press the button on a certain button and then the snake will move in a certain direction, so it basically works like a keyboard but from the joystick. And then we then just call that controller function in the main game loop so the game can update what button are we pressing. And for the soundtrack, this is not a major part of the project, but also a part of process in making a soundtrack. So since our game, the graphics, as you may see, that it's kind of based on a moody and mysterious tone. So the soundtrack was also written in minor key, which also gives a moody and mysterious tone. And an electronic synthesizer sound was used for the soundtrack to give it a more like game soundtrack vibe. And the soundtrack is actually only a 20 seconds loop but we just repeat it over and over in the game and the fun fact is done in the garage band program. So this is the project testing. So we declare a button that we press it and then the game is going in the state of the main game. And it's just us demonstrating controlling the snake and how these snakes reset when it reaches the game over state. 
So this is our conclusion. So our project gave out like a satisfactory result because the game works overall. But if we have more time, we would actually do more things, such as more detailed designs on snake worm background and menu, like especially the graphics, and more detailed functions such as game over menu and restart, high score reports, and more. And more detailed modeling, which um, our 3D model for our um, RT thing is quite big as from what we thought. So we want smaller in size and better looking controller and detailed 3D modeling next time. And for future work, we could focus on updating the game itself as mentioned before. And this project could be applicated for programming and modeling beginners. Updating games functionality or increase their skill to be ready for the engineering industry they come. So thank you for all the things and we would like to thank Kitty Lab for providing all the equipments and mentors for our help. Thank you.
you you have you have uh, explained all the state, oh. but you didn't explain. You you explain the game, but you know like let's say you want to make the game right, maybe uh, there might be some state. The state may be not fixed. It depends on individual. So let's say for for our key lab, we always teach kids to make games something like this. Step one to all the to make all the image move. Step three, fixing all the condition. Step four, make the game uh, win, lose, and play. And then we win in the car at the last day. Yes. Okay, it's not fixed, it's bad on you also. So people might win this image and make it sound straight away, you know, like it's bad on, on you. But uh, so it's bad on how you make, make the game. So uh, because we have to taste also, right? So maybe. That you should make five steps first before you explain the course, and then it will be uh, make it much easier and, so, and it's more complete. Okay. Yeah. I think for others, for your demonstration. Okay, it's uh, okay for my side. Anything for the uh, digital side at Kia? Okay, so uh, it is you want to say about uh, your, your work? Um, so I think for like, since we also don't really have a like, strong high fun background, so like, actually achieving to make the game work is also already a big goal for us. Like, yeah, we did plan to add a lot of things into the game, but yeah, some things, some of the things we have to shop it off, like the game over. But like, I do think that the final outcome that our project reaches pretty good yeah. for like the time and also the things that like the skill that we had to start from too. So yeah, it was a very fun project to work on, and also thanks a lot to our mentor Kishari for helping along the way. And yeah, we kind of struggled a lot. Also, the last group to finish, but at least it's done. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so actually your book uh, is the most, is the, the book that we, uh, we, how to say, we think about, because the other two books, when we see the projects, we can ensure that they can this on time. So only this book, we are a bit like, uh, we, we think that it's a bit hard, so we have to also have the 3D project to do, and we also have the game to decide or, you know, to edit more, uh, rewind the game, and we have to integrate with the, you can keep all that we have for this. So it's yeah, it's a bit tough, okay. But if you have time, you know, you can learn these few things uh, from beginning. But for now, at least you get the whole idea. So even you want to do another game or something like this, it will be much easier for you. At least you know you, have, you know what to do now if you want to do this again okay, in the like uh, another uh, engine by Unity or something like this. It's, it will be about the same thing, so. You know? But something put with Python because Python you can see as we had that import library. Like what, what we do is what we import the controllers with this like so that, that is a good point for the Python and many things in the world have a way to Python. So next time I'm going to do anything to Python is it's quite easy. Most of the sensors sensor that you buy they come along with the library Python. So I think it's a good